Hi, my name is Eleanor Nabuiso. I'm an actress, uh, film producer, and director. Growing up, I've always been that young girl who always wanted to be on the, on the stage plays, as Mary or Joseph, or as a sheep in a play. So every time they call up for roles, I was always raising my hand to be in one of the plays on stage from primary school to secondary school. When I joined secondary school, I was the Miss Interact there. That's like the beauty queen in the school. So I literally had to show up for events and also be doing stage plays as well. So as a young girl, I've always been acting on stage. And then I grew into the professional part of it after my high school. After high school, I did a couple of stage plays at the National Theatre in Uganda. But then my peak of it all was To Love Is To Die by The Obsessions, where I had a small role there. And the director of the play discovered me. And he told me I should be on TV. But by then I was still already doing TV as a TV host, not as an actress. I was doing the show called uh, Showtime Magazine on WBS TV. So through the line of uh, TV hosting and uh, stage plays, I. I found acting such a, an easy role. Then I took on the role of Hope in the famous TV series called The Hostel. By the way, you be very careful what you say, because like I warned you, by the end of this semester, Muliro. Uh, uh. After doing 300 episodes on The Hostel, I kind of had time on the set to learn directing. I learned a bit of production. I learned a bit of lighting. I learned a bit of scripting because it's, it was over two or three years on set for over 300 episodes of, of uh, entertainment and learning a lot behind the scenes. It was such a world famous role that I did and I think literally everyone in the country called me Hope. They no one even knew my real names for some, some good years actually. But then when the hostel was coming to an end, everybody wanted more of me on TV. Everywhere I would go be asked, where can we find your work? Where are you guys acting right now? The hostel ended, what next, what next? And I felt the push to, you know, start doing my own thing. So we decided to open up our own film company called Nawiso Films Company, where we do film, mostly to change people's lives, but also to entertain. And that was the beginning of all the other productions under Nawiso Films. So as an actress, I've worked on a couple of productions, including um, the Hostel series back in the day where I was acting as Hope for over 300 episodes. So after the Hostel, I did a movie called Rain as Nabuso Films, where I acted as the main role of Dora Nantongo. And after Rain, I did um, a movie, a Norwegian movie called As Far As I Can See. Right after that, I did a movie called uh, Fatal Instincts. Well, after that, I did a couple of other projects, including Chadala series, and then I did another production called Bed of Thorns recently, the first all-female made crew movie in Uganda, um, where I was a director and producer. And then after that, I did a couple of other documentaries along the way, and a series I directed to uh, Live Your Dream, I've directed uh, Speak Up, and uh, a couple of other private documentaries for clients. You would be the first of all Boda Boda riders. Give me a lift, free of charge. How? You are special, baby Cindy. <laughs> Most of the achievements I live for as a filmmaker include the awards I've won for all the films I've produced, including Rain. We won over 15 awards out of 30 nominations. For me, that is quite an achievement. I mean, I won the best actress in East Africa for Festica Burundi. I won the best women's rights movie in the London Eye Film Festival. My list is quite endless for the achievements, but above all, having my films work endlessly in communities in Uganda to spread awareness for different societal issues for me is the tip of it all. <laughs> Some of the challenges I face as a filmmaker, honestly, just include um, working with people who don't keep time or trying to beat deadlines that people don't really see. Because as a producer, you have like something scheduled and you have things written out you have to do and beat a certain debt. Yet for people you're working with, they can't see it with you and they can't work with you to beat the deadlines. So sometimes it's a bit challenging to work with people who are not quite professional. Go and bear us grandchildren. The film industry can reduce on the unemployment level in Uganda by 
kind of taking on people as uh, as in employing many other people on set. I mean, we have the producer, we have the director, we have a runner on set, we have um, props masters, we have set designers, we have actors, we have um, set managers. The roles are quite endless on a set. You could actually employ over 100 people on an organized set. So the film industry will always employ so many people and kind of break down the unemployment rate in Uganda. As long as the main production is happening in the country, people will be employed. For the upcoming filmmakers out there, the actors, the producers, for whatever you're coming into the industry with, I'll tell you just one thing. If you're good at something, get better at it and don't let it rest until your better is best.